Welcome to Motorcycle Superstore's Luggage Buyer's Guide. I'm JC and today we're going to talk about the different types of luggage that you might consider for your motorcycle needs. Now, here's the great part about it. There is going to be some luggage to suit you, I promise. There's a lot of different varieties, lots of manufacturers, and something will work for your needs. What you need to consider first off is what are you going to carry with you? That's going to determine what type of luggage package you go for. Is it overnight? Is it a single day trip? Is it a month? Is it a week? I don't know. but. Whatever it's going to be, you need to make sure you can accommodate all those things that you'll be taking on your road trip. So let's get right into it. Keep in mind too that although we're going over aftermarket accessories, you can look to the OEMs. I know that BMW, Triumph, all those brands make really nice luggage. So that's an option for you as well. But today we're gonna to cover some of the basic types. First off, we're gonna go with the saddle bags. You can have hard or soft variety. Same thing with tail bags, those will be next. Followed by tank bags, which are very versatile. And then finally, the fender packs to finish it off. Now. At any point through this video, click on these links. You can go directly to those sections and find the ones that interest you most. But since there's a lot to cover, let's get into our luggage right now. Saddlebags are some of the most versatile components that you can use for luggage. First off, there's two of them, so they have great carrying capacity. Now, in addition to that, you're also going to find that they keep the weight fairly low on your motorcycle, so it doesn't affect the center of gravity, and they're behind you, so they're very unobtrusive. You don't really notice them while you're riding. Now, those are the benefits of why you might consider a saddlebag, but there's a couple main varieties. We're starting with the soft bags or semi-rigid. Now, the reason they call them semi-rigid is there'll be somewhat of a framework in here to try to keep them from being very, very soft. And the point is, they don't use a mounting bracket, typically, to attach to the motorcycle itself. So, if they're fully soft, they just flop around. Around, so they need a little bit of rigidity to them. Now, that being said, mounting them onto the bike is actually pretty easy, fairly universal. Something like this, it can be laid over the passenger seat or it can be tucked underneath. So it's really easy to get these things on and off much of the time. But some other things to consider with these. Now, there's two main styles with the soft bags. You can either have a slant cut like this, or you can have more of a square cut. The slant cut provides you access to your foot pegs a little bit better. So if you have passengers, you might consider that. Now, when we're talking about considerations for passengers, we're talking about clearance issues. So you need to make sure you have enough clearance for your passengers to be able to ride on, but also for your exhaust pipe as well. We don't want this thing touching and burning holes. The other thing that I want to mention is that when these get laden down, they typically start to sort of cant in at the bottom. So it's really important that it doesn't go so far as to where your suspension compresses and your tire will hit it. Look for that. It's also a part to do with how you load it. It's also a part to do with how you mount it. Now, they come in several different varieties in terms of construction. This is one from Motocentric. This is their cruiser slanted bag. It's made from a nylon, very, very common. You're also going to see leather and leather substitutes as well. So whatever suits your style. Now, some of the things to consider with this in terms of features, they usually have an outside pocket. You want something along the top that opens easily so you can access it from the top of the bag. Storage compartments inside are very standard, but something like this is not waterproof. So most bags are going to come with a rain cover and accessories inside. The straps, the mounting straps are often not attached. You'll find them inside as well, so make sure you don't throw those away. For more information on these, you can look at MotorcycleSuperstore.com or there are hard case options as well, which we'll cover next. Hard saddle bags are just as good or better of an option depending on what you need. You might also hear them called side cases or panniers, those are common terms. They're all pretty much the same thing. Now, this particular model is the GV Monokey V35, very popular seller for us. But what you get with something like this, first off, is better security. So they have keys on them, they're going to not only lock from opening, but they also lock onto their mounting hardware so nobody can yank them off the bike. Another thing that's great about these is they're much more waterproof. You don't typically have to worry about a cover of some kind. You're going to see rubber gaskets that also keep out not only water, but dust as well. On top of that, crash protection is a little better. So when you lay this bike down, obviously these are one of the first things to go. They will get damaged, but they have a very rigid mounting structure behind them, a mounting bracket that usually comes with the uh, case. So you're going to have a better chance of surviving crashes. Now, some of the things to look for in these. First off, we mentioned the security. So let's talk about the mounting brackets. Now on this particular model, you can see when we unlock it, it pops right off. You take it inside, you come back out the next morning, it clips back into place. And when it's locked, you don't ever have to worry about somebody stealing it. So I really, really like that. But the mounting brackets on many, if not most cases, will be included in the price. But make sure when you're ordering it that you double check that because you don't want to have your cases come and then wind up having to order the mounting brackets separately. So if we open this up, 
Latch mechanisms are going to be a little different based on the manufacturer, but inside of these hard cases, you sometimes will have room for a full face helmet, which is very nice. But things like this is going to help compartmentalize and keep your, th your items from rattling around. Here's that rubber gasket material we talked about, and they have these nice retainers so that it doesn't flop all the way open and overextend the hinge. For more information on these, check them out online. Plenty of options. One of the things I have to say is that they're more expensive. That's kind of the main downside to this type of a product. Hard, uh, you have the mounting bracket, so the money goes up. But take, them out, take a look, see if they work for you. And now we'll take a look at some of the other options that you might start combining with your saddlebags, regardless of if they're hard or semi-rigid. Tail bags are another great option as well. Now you're going to hear these called tail bags, roll bags, top cases, trunks. They're all the same thing, but there's two basic styles, a hard case and a soft case. So with the hard cases, all the same things apply as with the saddlebags. You have better weather resistance. They're lockable. Uh, they're also very easy to get on and off most of the time if they have a quick release system. If they don't, then that's not necessarily the case. But this type of bag is going to need some sort of a mounting bracket on the back. Now, the nice thing about it is that oftentimes the tank bags will accept a full face helmet when the saddlebags will not. So you can actually stick that in there when you get off the bike and go do whatever your business might be. Also, keep in mind, great visibility from these as well. The nice finishes that can actually make it for a more factory look. All those are benefits that go into these hard types of cases. Now, for the soft cases, these things are essentially glorified duffel bags. We've all had duffel bags or a backpack or something that we strap on and use bungees. The nice thing about these, multiple storage compartments and they're a little bit more motorcycle specific, so they have better mounting hardware in particular. That's going to allow it to attach to the motorcycle. In this example, if you just wanted one person, you could put it here. Flip it around, you use it on the back, you still carry a passenger. These are extremely versatile. They can be used in conjunction with saddlebags so that you can get a little bit more storage. So you can actually hard fix your saddlebags and then use this as your on and off because they're very easy to carry. This is a good example because it actually works in conjunction with the sissy bar as well. So lots of variety in terms of these types of products. Same drawbacks, however, they're not quite as waterproof. So make sure you're looking for the internal liners or the external rain covers. That about covers it for tail bags. Let me flip around. We'll talk about tank bags next. There's nothing confusing about tank bags. They go right here on your fuel tank and they're all about accessibility. So lots of pockets, lots of easy ways to store those items we use every day like keys and phones and, and whatnot. So two main differences in the way they're constructed or the way they attach to the motorcycle. Magnetics are very, very common. You'll see these big mag uh, magnets sewn into this pouch here. It's an anti-slip, anti-scratch, so it's not supposed to beat up your tank too bad, but it only works on metal tanks. This Honda wouldn't accept it, for example. So you can also get tank bags that have a strap system, a harness. One of the things to watch with that, if you want to be able to pull this on and off because your fuel cap's underneath or something, you're going to want a bag that detaches from the harness. You don't want to be redoing the straps every single time it goes on and off the bike. Zippers are much easier. Now, some of the pros on the tank bags. Why would you want one? Well, like we mentioned, it's all right here. Another thing that's really nice about them is that many of these are convertible. So for this particular example, it's the Motocentric Weekender GPS. If you pull this tab up, now all of a sudden you can flop this out and here's another access panel for you to have your GPS device and your phone device. You can see these clear panels, you can access them. So these things can be very, very versatile. They're also relatively lightweight. They're small, so you can't put too much in them. So when you haul them off and they have these nice carrying packs, it's very easy to go in and out and carry these around with you on a daily basis. Now, some of the reasons you might not want one of these. Well, they clutter everything up. They make it a little bit more difficult to access things up front. So if your fuel, ga uh, fuel cap is underneath, it can be a big pain in the butt. Also, if you have some instrumentation under there, that's really common on cruisers. Now, it's one thing if it's a pain to get gas in and out. It's another thing is that every time you're riding, you can't see how fast you're going. So if you have any instrumentation down here, you really might want to look for a different type of an option. Also, some other things to consider. Adventure touring guys. This becomes an issue when you start to stand up on the bike because now all of a sudden, your crotch is sitting up here and touching this bag. So if you're aggressive off-road, it can be a little bit of a problem. So all of those things come into play, not to mention the fact that as we go up, because some of these are even bigger than this model, you can't see the instrumentation up here and it starts to interfere with your handlebars as well. So all those things are things to consider, but that's not to say these aren't great options. This and the tail pack we mentioned before are essentially the same type of concept. Easy access, quick, small type of item. So this is a great option. See if it works for you. Now we'll talk about one other thing that's left and that's probably the simplest of all. Let's talk about windshield bags, handlebar bags, roll bags, and fender bags. They're all essentially the same thing. They're very basic tubular shaped bags that can be mounted in any number of locations on the front of your motorcycle. Now, 
Keep in mind, these are going to be made from leather, leather substitutes or textiles. They're typically not waterproof, but the nice thing about it is that they're fairly universal. So they're designed to go in a certain spot like the handlebars or, the, or behind the, the fairing. However, make sure that wherever you install these, they're not interfering with the motorcycle. If they're on the handlebars, we can't have them blocking the range of motion. If they're behind the windscreen, we can't have them blocking or interfering with our instrument cluster. Down on the fender, don't let them block airflow to your radiator, which could be bad and we don't want them to be crushed when our suspension compresses. So all these things you need to take into account, but the nice thing about them is that they're a very quick, inexpensive, and easy way to get a little bit more storage on your bike. Thanks for sticking with us in our motorcycle luggage buyer's guide. It was a lot of information, but now that we're finished up, I'm out of here. The next step for you is to start refining your searching techniques. We've covered the basics. You know generally what's available. So start applying that to your specific needs, your riding styles, and your bike. You can find all those types of products at MotorcycleSuperstore.com and get the important information and writer reviews right there on site. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave us some comments on this video. Tell me about your favorite luggage. Tell me your favorite packing techniques, whatever it might be. And also subscribe to us on YouTube for more product videos and guide videos like this.